Hey guys, how's it going? Remington here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the trailer I made, or, well, teaser, for The Phoenix, which is an upcoming project I'm going to be working on. Now, I haven't gotten everything sorted out yet, but I'm just going to give you a little look behind the scenes at what it took to make that teaser, and hopefully you guys will look forward to more little things in the future. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the original footage. So it's really light and happy, and this is kind of basically what the beginning looks like, except there is obviously no metal flaming bird thing in the grass. And actually right here when it got dark, it, it was pure coincidence, a cloud passed over and it was convenient. And then I did my little earthquake effect right here by, call, by uh, shaking my camera, it's relatively simple. And then uh, we go back and everything's all nice and happy. So in order to actually place the bird on the ground, I first had to track it using the 3D camera tracker from Adobe After Effects. It's relatively simple to use, however it does take a while to analyze the scene. That's the only real downside. So from there I just took a 2D image of the bird and I tracked it onto the grass. I did add a shadow to it just to give it some depth while I'm working and then I had to go on to the next step which is a little tricky. So I'm still learning how to use After Effects, so trying to figure out how to actually map a texture onto this 2D bird was pretty complicated but I eventually figured it out fortunately and this was the end product. So then I mapped a cinder texture onto it just to give it a little more pop and uh, I actually had to make the metal darker and the cinders brighter when the camera or when the cloud came over because the camera's exposure changed so you can kind of see that here how the cinders get a bit brighter that was just an effect I added for a bit more detail so the next thing I had to do was create the big explosion thing which was definitely the most complicated part of this entire 40 second thing so the first thing I had to do in order to create this was to key out the sky and replace it with clouds. So this is kind of what it looks like without any clouds in there. It's a really crappy job, but it looks better in the final. So then I went ahead and I mixed it with the original clip, adding kind of a transition here as you can see the darkness rolling. And then I added the clouds in. And once again, it is not the best, but you can see how the keying kind of flows into it now as opposed to the previous kind of edgy look. So the next step was to actually add the explosion, which was the best part of this entire thing. But one thing I had to keep in mind is to keep the smoke and dust layers at different timings so it didn't look like it was two of the same layers. So here you can actually see the two big smoke columns are the exact same thing, except I timed them differently to make it so that they aren't the same. And then my next step was to actually add dust to it, so it seemed like it was kind of popping out at your face and it kind of blurred out those defects in the background. So you can kind of see how I did that here. To transition it in, I used a linear wipe right here, as you can see, kind of wipes over from the lower left corner. So now that I'm done with the visuals, I had to go over with the audio. Now the original audio is absolute crap and I had no idea what I was saying and it makes no sense so I just completely took out the original audio and I used my phone to record some audio to overlay what was originally there. So I'm going to go ahead and play the original audio now and you'll see why I needed to edit that out. Alright so I was just over here picking some weeds in my garden as you can see and I just look over here and then there's this thing. How'd that get there? I mean, I was just working out here. It's not like it's anything special, but I don't know. It's weird. I think, I don't know. It's just kind of, why is it getting dark? What the heck? So you can see how bad that was. And now I'm going to go ahead and play the audio that I recorded up in my room before I edited it in. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Edited it in. Try it. It's fun. <laughs> Alright, so I was just working in my garden out here and um, I turned around and I saw this thing in my yard. I don't know what it is. It's like a bird. But um, what? So yeah, that was a ton better, like exponentially better. But uh, the next thing I had to do was go ahead and substitute in some awesome explosion electronic crap noises, which I got from the Motion Pulse Pack by 
uh, video copilot. So I'm just going to play some of the noises right now so you can get an idea of what all I mixed together to make that noise. So then the final step was to mix it all together into one awesome trailer thing that I don't even know why I made, but it's pretty awesome. I am going to show some side-by-sides in a second here of the before and after shots, so stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to future events that I will be planning shortly here. Uh, I'll give you updates about this project and how it's going, and that's just about all. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Remember to like if you like this, and subscribe if you want to see these upcoming projects. So without further ado, here's the side-by-sides I was talking about. All right, so I was just working in my yard pulling some weeds, and then I heard a weird noise behind me. I turned around, and then this thing was here. It's like on fire. I don't know what it is. I don't want to touch it, but like, it's like a bird. I don't know, it's scary, and I don't necessarily know what to do about it. Ooh, that completely reminds me, I forgot about the voice. I can't believe I forgot about that. But I basically just did that in my throat. I don't know. It's a weird voice I can do. It sounds kind of like this. And um, all I did afterwards was add a bit of reverb and an echo. And that's about it. So remember to like, subscribe, and those of you that stuck around, you're the real MVP.